we're doing the pullovers first because it's, it's isolating the lats without bicep involvement. Uh, usually the weak link in a lat exercise is the biceps are gonna give way. So we're just trying to work the lats without having any, any biceps involvement. If we had a pullover machine, that's ideal because it's full range all the way around, where a dumbbell is only half range. But we work with what we got, that's what we got today, so we use dumbbells. Good. Two. Good. Look on there, man, yeah? Good. Ten. I forgot you couldn't count past ten. That's eleven. Yeah. Twelve. Okay, I'll do it with you, man. Huh? I'll do it with you. Alright, then. Good on you. Boy -o. Is this a set then, brother? Yeah. Nice and tight then. Big stretch, big pull. Yep. Yeah. One. Two. 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 Three. Four. Five. Good. Come on. Six. Strong. Big it. Seven. Go all the way. Eight. Big pull. Three, nine, one more. Last one. Oh. Big. Yeah. I got it. We're going to use a pull down where the biceps are coming into play. Nice stretch, bring down, squeeze. All the way down, man. There, squeeze, yeah? Pause at the chest. Good. Pause, good. Keep your body still, man. There, good. That's better. Nice. Two more, all the way down, squeeze. One more, all the way down, squeeze. Nice, nice, nice. Arch at the bottom, yeah? Because yeah. if you pull down and you're like this, you're not getting a contraction that's gonna be like that. Yeah, yeah 225, you gotta go, man. Watch that body movement. Yeah. Stretch out with the shoulder girl, bring down, squeeze. On it. Hip. And squeeze, nice. Two, good. Three, nice, come on, let's work. Lats. Four. Five's good. Come on. Squeeze, six. Arch and squeeze at the bottom. Seven, and again. All the way down, all the way down. Squeeze it in, squeeze it in. One more. Big stretch and big pull. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. One knee on there. Yeah. Other leg out and back because you're going to be pulling in towards your waist as okay. opposed, no. If you're pulling up here, then that's going to be more traps and rhomboids. Lats, pulling in, arm traveling close to your side like that, into your waist, and so back down again. So up and back, yeah, hitting the lats with this one. Easy, mate. Right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on.
We're going to do base rows. Or we're going to do out like this, so we're going to we're going to go up there now. Rhomboid straps. For the first few exercises, we're pulling in here. We're working lats, yeah. We're working lats. The elbows, the arms are travelling close to the body, yeah. Pull down, roll. Those are lat movements. Now with elbows out, we're going upper back. Of course the lats are still involved, we're putting more emphasis on the upper back, which is the lower traps, the rhomboids, the terriers, and so on. That's why we're having that grip and we're bringing the elbows out. Nice. We're in there, yeah? Three. Oh, good. Five, yeah. Six. The only reason to use them is if the power of my lats is greater than my grip, you know? If my grip's going to give away before my back gives away, then I'm going to support my grip. But if it's not necessary, I'm not going to use them. Because if you keep supporting your grip all the time, it's not going to get stronger, you know? Alright, so tight, mate. Come on. Crunch your right back. Double bicep. Stretch and squeeze. Good. Two, three, four, five, right, come on, it's good, pull with that, pigs, right back, and again, half breath, come on, half breath, bang, one more half breath, pull, good, good set, that's how we do it. I just do the initial one from the floor, then I'm just going here, so if you've got racks, you can just do it from there to start with, you know. Yeah. Keep the head up, keep your back flat. Yep. You never want to lift with your back rounded like that, you're putting your back in a very vulnerable position. I like to do it in front of the mirror so I can watch the form. Oh, the initial lift from the floor is more quads and, and glutes, that's why after he's lifted it from the floor, you're just going to mid-shin, so we're just keeping it on the back, keeping the tension on the back. Good. Up. Two. Up. Three. Four, excellent. Up, five, up, six, seven. Maybe just a tad, tad higher, you know? That's good answer, man. Yeah. What's going to work more weight? You work your legs more once you get down to the bottom. Just like mid chin, keep it nice and tight. Just keep it on the back. Shh, shh. Right. Come on then, get it strapped on, yeah? Nice and tight. Just do as many as you can where the form's perfect. You know, if you start breaking form, that's time to put it down. No risk on this one, yeah? All right, finish it all up now, then all the whole back. Yep. So strong. Good, okay. Nice, that's it, man. Two. Three. Four's good. Up. Five. Keep it tight. Four. Six. And again, four. Seven. Up. Eight, two more, man. Strong. Pull. One more. Big pull. Yes. Okay. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Muscle growth is an adaptation to stress. You give your body stress that it's not used to, it's going to try to adapt in some way. And in this case, we're looking for more muscle, so you've got to go beyond what you've done before. That's the idea. Like it's only the reps that you really struggle on they give you the growth, isn't it, really? When you're training, you're not just stressing that muscle group. You're stressing your system as a whole also. And legs and back are so taxing that I try to schedule those with a day off afterwards. So you've got overall recovery as well. 